Welcome to a new video of the Sistema Kadashnikova presented by Transition CRT. In this video, I will explain to you what you can do if someone uh, has you in a rear naked choke. First, I want to explain that this choke is a very dangerous choke. If someone uh, knows how to apply it correctly, you can be out of conscious in like a couple of seconds, maybe five to ten seconds and you'll be out. The first thing you want to try is not get in a situation where anyone can grab you uh, in a choke like that. Uh, Dominic, if you can come here. So, preferably you won't be standing with your back against your opponent. But secondly, if he tries to grab me, I have contact, I try to evade. Evade the situation that he can actually grab me. That will be uh, most preferable. But I will explain to you what you have to do or what you can do if he already has you in the lock. So if you please apply it. Like you see, he grabbed me, <coughs> he grabbed me uh, by the throat with his arm. His arm is located at my throat. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to get myself a little more reaction time by pulling uh, his arm towards this point. You can see now that here I have a little bit room created, so I have a couple more seconds to figure out what I should do next. Second thing I should understand is that he made contact with me, he grabbed me, so now we are one, uh, one object again, one system. So everything I do, it will has effect on him and everything, every movement he makes will have effect on me. The good thing is I have both my arms free, so I can use them. And I have freedom in my hip. He kind of like locked my upper body, but my hips are free. So I can create that to get him out of balance. I lean towards one side. Again, we are one system, so he will move to that side as well. And I try to get his, um, his weight on one leg. This way he, can, he can't resist that much uh, force of me and he will fall out of balance, for example. If I use my hips to apply force into that direction. <coughs> and I can get free. Or I can get him out of balance, throw him down to the ground. Keep in mind, like we explained in the video about balance, that um, the most important thing, the first priority of the, our brain is to stay uh, in balance, is to remain balanced. Come back. <laughs> is to remain balanced. If he's choking me, but he loses his balance, he won't be focusing on choking me. So I want to disbalance him. I can use my other arm to release the grip, like putting it up like that. And I use my body weight to disbalance him. I'll show it one more time very slowly, step by step. So one, create a little more time for myself. Two, Put his weight on one leg. Second, add my own weight and disbalance him, make him fall. Thank you. I hope you find this information useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.